This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. Next topic is uncertainty in measurement. Okay. So the next topic is uncertainty in measurement okay many at times in the study of chemistry one has to deal with the experimental data as well as theoretical calculations okay so there are meaningful ways to handle the numbers of conventionally and present the data realistically with certainty to extent possible okay so chemistry has to deal with the uh, it should always it should be deal with the experimental data as well as the theoretical both should be match okay both should be match with each other so theoretical calculations are also important in that the first you uh, should first topic is scientific notation first topic is scientific notation please note it down so this is not that much important but while doing the calculations you should know how to do how to deal with the problems okay so this is about scientific notation first uh, i think so you you don't know how uh, scientific notation and all uh, you don't i think so if you are having idea then it is good otherwise just concentrate on this topic okay as chemistry is the study of atoms and molecules as we know that okay which have extremely low masses and are present in extremely large numbers they having the low masses and they are large in large numbers okay so example okay a chemist has to deal with the numbers as large as the large means how they are large i will write here 602 200000000 like that this is a very large numbers okay like that he has to deal with this like large number for only uh, molecules of two hydrogen two gram of hydrogen only of two gram of hydrogen okay gas or molecules gas or as a small number so low masses and uh, if you are just consider the small number how this is 0 0.000000 like this this is very difficult correct 166 gram so has a mass of hydrogen atom so similarly uh, like this so this is a very large number and this is a very small number chemist has to deal with this so this is the problem what we are facing so to avoid this problem this can be solved by using scientific notation so that we are using scientific notation okay scientific notation is important okay please note it down in the scientific notation uh, okay we are facing this problem means uh, maybe there is a low masses and large numbers okay like this they are very maybe very large number and there may be a very small number so to avoid this problem we can't read it right how we can so it is very difficult to read and calculation but also this is very difficult so that we are using this scientific notation okay Huh. so in that scientific notation uh, let's i will explain you how this can be solved problem can be solved by using this scientific notation that is exponential notation okay that is exponential notation exponential notation in which any number can be represented which is in the form of any number which can be represented in the form of n into 10 raised to n like this this can be represented in the form of n into 10 raised to n where n is equal to exponent having positive or negative values so this is a exponent okay it may be a a positive value or it may be a negative value okay where n it is a digit term which varies from 
1.000 and 9.999 so up to here 1 to 9 which is varying up so this is about exponential notation okay and uh, thus so i will give you the example for this scientific notation consider the example of this 232.508 okay as this can be represented as 2.32508 into 10 raised to 2 means uh, this is in uh, represented in exponential notation 10 raised to 2 so here note that while writing it the decimal have had to mo be moved to the left by two places okay which is of two places which is moved so that the exponent is 10 raised to 2 okay so that the exponent is uh, see here so that the exponent is 10 raised to 2 this is okay so this is called scientific notation next one example uh, the next one is c 0 0.00030 and this is 16 this can be written as in a scientific notation 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 4 i said that this can be represented in positive and also it can be represented in negative form so this can be written as 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 4 how it is real here decimal has to be moved to a four decimal okay after four places this is there 1.6 1 2 3 4 after four decimal it has to be moved to the four places to the right so if it is move in a right side so this is a right side you just return in a negative form this is 10 raised to minus 4 okay so and in that there are some this is not only about the moving up so you should note you should know about what is the next is multiplication and division okay in that multiplication and division part also comes how you, you are multiplying and divi dividing this okay mm -hmm. multiplication and division so just consider the number example for multiplication 5.6 into 10 raised to 5 okay which is multiplied by 6.9 into 10 raised to 8 this is 6.9 into 10 raised to 8 how just to multiply first 5.9 into 6.9 you are getting 38.64 okay multiply it so 10 raised to 5 the exponent should be added because the bases are same here 10 so 5 plus 8 what you are getting 38.64 into 10 raised to 8 plus 5 is you are getting 13 okay so if you are moving it the decimal place by 1 3.864 into you are getting 10 raised to 14 so this is about multiplication okay then come to the division okay this is multiplication then division part so in that consider okay uh, so this is about the multiplication and then division is 2.7 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 2 sorry 5.5 into 10 raised to 4 so so just to 2.5 by 5.5 you are getting first to only divide this part you are getting 0 0.4909 okay so into 10 these are the basis consider minus 3 is present if this 4 goes upside this will converted into minus 4 then 4 and 3 you are getting what 10 raised to minus 7 okay so you just uh, uh, just to move this decimal to right side you are getting 4.909 into this is incremented correct 10 raised to this is increment means 10 raised to minus 8 this is about negative part 
okay how your right side if you are moving like this so this is about the division this is about multiplication and division next the next two is addition and subtraction okay i will uh, explain it here addition and subtraction so shall i erase it what it is scientific notation okay uh, i will erase it huh. so in this uncertainty principle uncertainty in measurement so we are just considering scientific notation in that we have studied how to move the uh, how to represent in scientific form and uh, multiplication and division is over now consider addition and subtraction okay addition and subtraction so in this addition and subtraction for these two operation first the numbers are written in such a way that they have same exponent okay after that the coefficients are added or subtracted as the case may be so consider the example for 6.65 into 10 raise to minus 4 6.6.65 into 10 raised to 4 please note it down uh, what i am explaining you here and just you should add this with 8.9595 into 10 raised to 3 so uh, as i said the exponent should be of the same form so please convert this exponent form point uh, like 6.65 into 10 raised to 4 is there if you moving this decimal you are getting 0.895 into 10 raised to 4 so 6.65 this you are getting the answer of 7.545 into what 10 raised to 4 as it is exponent you should write then for the same subtraction if you are doing uh, just for apply this for the subtraction or whatever i will just consider another one example okay uh, 2.5 2.5 into 10 raised to minus 2 which should be subtracted with 4.8 into 10 raised to minus 3 okay so if you are subtracting it just convert this into what which form this so how you are converting it into this converted into minus 2 so as it is you write into 10 raised to minus 2 so which is 4.8 into 10 raised to minus 3 can be written as 0 0.48 into 10 raised to minus 2 just you should make this as like a same exponent should be there okay so you are getting 2.5 minus 0.48 you are getting 2.02 keep as it is 10 raised to minus 2 so this is the example for subtraction okay this is the example for subtraction so this is about subtraction and the next topic is about significant figures okay i will erase it next topic is in that only it will come significant figures okay so significant figures okay so every experimental measurement has some amount of uncertainty associated with we know about it okay however one would always like the result to be precise and accurate okay so here uh, there should be precise and accurate so we want that answer always should be in precision and it should be accurate correct so we want that precision and accurate measurement so precision means uh, very closeness which is closeness value closeness value should be very close and accurate means it should be like agreements of a particular value to the true value of the result so this is of 
agreement okay so this is about precision and accuracy is important okay then the significant figure the i will give you the definition for significant figure okay significant figure means they are meaningful significant figures are meaningful digits okay and the last meaningful digits which are known as significant figures so this is about the significant figures so in detail i will explain you later about the significant figures which is having some of the uh, rules to how to determine the significant figures